Hi there! In this video, we will introduce Consolidate Policy Configuration, a new feature available in 4TOS 6.4. With the introduction of NGFW policy in FOS 6.2, the number of policy types available in 4TOS continues to grow, each supporting different subsets of functionality in different ways. This introduces at least three possible disadvantages. One, there is significant maintenance effort, especially on the GUI side, in managing all different policy types. Two, customer experience becomes very inconsistent. And three, not every feature is supported. New consolidated policy configuration provides an enhancement to the current design by unifying policy CLI syntax regardless of the mode used for policy configuration. It also provides a consistent user experience for all policy types. Here are some major improvements and differences between 4.2.s 6.2 CLI syntax and 4.2.s 6.4. In 6.2, there were two different commands in place, Config Firewall Policy and Config Firewall Policy 6 to set up IPv4 and IPv6 policy respectively. In 6.4, They've been replaced by the one unified command, config firewall policy, along with config firewall consolidated policy. You can also notice there were several new commands added, such as source address 6 and destination address 6, as well as pool name 6, all allocated for IPv6 policy. Before we get to the demo, let us go over some limitations slash special notes related to the feature. First, the feature only introduces changes to the firewall policy, firewall policy 6, and firewall consolidated policy and doesn't bring any new to the other types of policy, such as proxy policy, DOS, ACL, multicast policy, shaping policy, and etc. Second, even if we merge the firewall policy tables of IPv4 and IPv6 policies, they would still become separate in the kernel, thus being responsive to the direct command if we wish, for example, to display IPROPE in IPROPE 6. Third, the upgrade will merge all existing and old IPv4 and IPv6 policy entries under the new firewall policy. IPv6 policy entries will follow IPv4 policy entries in order, however they will not get merged into the one policy entry. Now without further ado, let's get right to our demonstration. Here we have profile-based NJFW mode. As you can see there are no longer two different options for IPv4 and IPv6 policies in the navigation menu on the left, but one unified firewall policy option. Although we still have two separate options for NAT64 and NAT46 policies. Let us now go ahead and create a new firewall policy. As you probably noticed, we have both IPv4 and IPv6 IP addresses compiled in the one joint address list. After we're done creating a new policy, let's go over the list of policy entries. As you can see, for entry 1, we have allocated only IPv4 addresses. For entry 2, in contrast, we have allocated only IPv6 set of addresses. And for the third one, we set both IPv4 and IPv6 source addresses. Now, if you wish to set a specific filter to make only a particular type of policy entries visible, you can easily do so by using the drop down menu in the top right. Like so. Please note, the default filter setting is to show all possible kinds of entries. Let us switch now from profile-based NGFW mode to policy-based NGFW mode. Since we already merged IPv4 and IPv6 policies in 4.2.s 6.2, policy and objects drop-down menu won't look any different in 4.2.s 6.4. The only thing that has changed in 6.4 is IPv4 and IPv6 IP address list that have been merged into one list. Just as you can see here, we have joint entry select list. Now let's move to the CLI configuration demo. First, we switch back to the profile-based NGFW mode. As we can see here, now source address destination address and source address 6 destination address 6 can both be configured in one policy. For the policy-based NGFW mode, it is exactly the same. Let us switch now to 4TS 6.2 to check the final change that has to do with the consolidated policy configuration. As we can see here, in 6.2, we use source address 4, destination address 4 for IPv4 policy configuration. Back to 4.2.s 6.4, we can see that CLI syntax has changed from source address 4 to source address and from destination address 4 to destination address. That concludes our today's demo case. Thank you for watching. If you wish to see more technical videos, please visit video.fortnite.com.